Welcome to this third tutorial for Site Progress Mobile. This tutorial covers the importing of information back into Power Project 15 that has been posted in the web. And just to remind you that the, pre the first tutorial covered the process of configuring a project in Power Project and exporting that information and identifying who it should go to. The second tutorial focused on the mobile remote user uh, where they downloaded the information, recorded progress uh, until a specified period, added notes and photos, and then submitted that back to the cloud. And once they've done that, then the person who published that receives an email that tells them that that information uh, is has been submitted and is waiting for them. So this tutorial covers the process of uh, reviewing that information, downloading it from the cloud, and then uh, examining it in Power Project and starting the whole cycle again. So here we are in Power Project and we're ready to import that information. I'm already logged on to Site Progress Mobile and I can see which information uh, is ready to import because this filter drop down gives me access to the information in the cloud. So this is going to tell me show me all those projects that I received an email about that have been submitted. And uh, we need to look briefly at the settings section um, where we, there is a small, there is a very uh, few settings about the import. So just to discuss those briefly, one is that the, should we use the only progress period or the one that you've designated as defaults uh, and change its date each time and not create a new one? Or should we let Site Progress Mobile itself create a new progress period, which it will give a random color to and it will use the date of the import process? Um, so they're the two settings about the progress period, the date line. Um, should we just import the progress information immediately without any checks? Or if you have it ticked, it means that you'll get a chance to look at it and make changes possibly and accept it or reject it. And then with all the photographs that have been made, do you want to keep them in the cloud, which would be ticked, or do you want to download them to a place that you specify that this computer's got access to? So uh, I'm going to keep mine in the cloud for this time. So if I look at the file options, and we look at the progress section, then um, that's not true. If we look at the file sections, where these photographs start off being stored is in the folder defined in this path. So from that photo, the last uh, folder in that path, we will then create a new folder for every project and within it subfolders with the task ID of the activities with the photograph. So uh, this could be a shared drive, one that everybody can see. Best not to put it on your C drive because when you don't have this project on your machine anymore, you'll break all the links to the data. So, so that's the status of where we go with that information. So back to the Site Progress Mobile um, page. So I will just remind you that you can have multiple ones here and if we we can right mouse click on these and we can change their status so we could change it back to exported from submitted and the remote user could re uh, re-download it and re-edit it which of course they can do themselves uh, on the app to, uh, but we could um, set its status to archived and just archive it away and not worry about it or we could just delete it so if we made a mistake in the export then we delete it and we export it again possibly but in this particular case we want to download that we could do it here so we could select it and if we had many in the list we could select them all and with them selected we can set the import dates that we're interested in and uh, we click on the import button and it would open each project in turn and update each one individually but i've got this project open so i'm going to go to the project tab and I'm going to do it for this individual project in one go. So I'm going to import the progress using this button. 
I'm going to select this only user. There might be more than one. We're going to set that future progress line that we spoke of. And if you, because you exported on a certain date, if you try to import on a different date, you will be warned that that might cause you a problem. And it's uh, we, we're not going to override your setting. We're just going to remind you. Uh, and then we're going to click on OK. And now it's going to bring back all the information from the cloud. And because I've said I want to um, verify that, I've got this dialog where I've got all of the activities and the details that have been entered for each of the sections of the program. So we can focus on those in turn. Uh, and for each one, I could say, well, I, I, I don't think that's true. Um, you know, that one that didn't actually finish until the 24th. So we can change data on the way in. We can change uh, anything that was edited in the app. So we can change quantities, uh, remaining durations, uh, etc. So, um, but also you can accept individual ones and reject other ones. Now, if you reject things, it doesn't go back to the user remotely. It just means it's, it's not imported. So um, it's always worth realizing it's not going to tell the user that's your responsibility. You don't have to bother ticking every one because you can just click on the, and you can copy this all to the clipboard so you can email it to somebody uh, or store it as a record. Um, but if you just click on continue, you do get the opportunity to accept everything or reject everything. And I'm going to accept everything. And so there we, we can see the change. It's made a new progress period. It's told me that it's successfully done it. It's made a new progress period and it's just called site progress 9th of June. And so I can call that, um, I can give that a name and it's possibly, it depends if you, what uh, number in sequence you use. So this is week five. Maybe I don't like the color. I could change that. Um, but uh, you have those choices yourself. So uh, so that information has been imported. Um, here are actual quantities of change. So there's the quantity that we have remotely uh, that we brought in. The 1600 is what we should have done at that date to that milestone. Um, I've still got the progress line being straight. So I could show you that on the with it being jagged. And so you can see where you're head and behind schedule. I've not rescheduled this yet. I'm, I'm going to do that after talking about it. So if we didn't agree, we could override it. We could say, well, I was down there and they've actually done this one. So so all that Zyte Progress is doing is doing what you could do uh, inside Power Project and you can amend it. Any of that information, you can amend it. Uh, but I also wanted to show you where the uh, extra information has gone. So we've got two extra columns. Uh, so we've got a column called new text notes. And so that is a data column under identification called text notes. So that's where the timed notes are going. Uh, and also the second column attachments is out of the miscellaneous section. And that's where the hyperlinks are put the pictures and the file references so so in this particular case we had a, a note on the 8th of uh, april that the subcontractor issue and then the on the 18th with another one so we've got the dates and so that means we can show you the previous one so um so that's the situation with those uh, and where you've got an attachment you've got a underlined blue uh, link and if you alt click on that it opens the dialogue with those and you can choose which one of those. Uh, so if you if you click on that, it will open the in this case, the photo on the cloud or it could do it on your local computer. So um, so that's where you establish the links to the items that have been imported. So um, so I would now having received this, I would probably um, re baseline it. I would reschedule it to see what impact that would have on the plan. Uh, and I might want to make some adjustments about that. So, um, so we've got to this state. And um, so that would be, I would now be ready to uh, go back to Site Progress Mobile. I would be ready to export. I would choose a day in the future and I would start the whole process again. So so that is the 
final piece of the jigsaw of bringing the information into Power Project, where it stores it, what it does with certain uh, values, and the cycle continues. So thank you for listening to the third tutorial uh, in the sequence of three.